Berlimbicon is here. It's going to be a great day, a super fun individual CrossFit competition just for you guys, our Chimney Rock members. We're going to begin at 9 o'clock with an overview of the day to really reiterate the things that are also going to be said in this video. Uh, we have three workouts, a floater workout, and then afterwards, a big party. We're going to be grilling hot dogs and hamburgers, hanging out. We're going to get an ice bath. Uh, so please feel free to stick around and invite uh, your family and friends to join us for the festivities. Just like when we participate in the CrossFit Open, our workouts are going to be judged by our peers, by our fellow competitors. Uh, we have shared a document with you that outlines who you're going to be judging and when you're going to be uh, doing the workouts, when you're going to be judging. So please check that out so you know exactly where you need to be and when so that everything can run smoothly. Each of you are also going to be given a scorecard so that you can write down your scores after each workout and then we can tabulate and, and announce the winners uh, in a speedy fashion after all the workouts have been completed. Event one is a couplet of thrusters and bar facing burpees. You're going to do 15 of each, 12 of each, and then nine of each. There is a 12 minute time cap. Once you finish all the thrusters and bar facing burpees, and you will, okay, in the time remaining, you're going to establish a one rep max on the clean. For the thruster to count, we need to make sure we achieve a full depth on the squat and a full lockout with the barbell all the way up and overhead in control. If we fail to reach depth on the squats, that would be a no rep. If we lock out with the barbell in front of our head or, or the arms are slightly bent, those would also be uh, faults to constitute a no rep on the thruster. Push press don't count. For the bar facing burpee, what we need to see is our whole body on the ground for the burpee to count. Then you can jump over the bar however the heck you want. It could be a two foot jump, it could be a one foot jump, it could even be a step. That is fine, just get over the bar however you'd like. Remember, speed is important on this event. Sprawls would be a no rep. After we complete that, you can do a clean however you'd like. It can be a power clean, it can be a squat clean, it could even be a split clean. Yeah, there we go, for fun. Failure to stand up, stand up the bar completely in control would be a no rep. Event two is solely on the rower, for the row part of Rolympicon. It's a short event, it's gonna be five minutes in, in time, 30 seconds, you're gonna row as many calories as you can, 30 second rest. 30 seconds, row as many calories as you can, 30 second rest, continue in that fashion for the total of five minutes. We'll have the rowers set up so you don't have to worry about pressing uh, any buttons and it'll summate uh, the number of calories that you accumulate over that duration row. Event three is a combination of running and D-ball cleans. There is a 10 minute cap and it's an ascending ladder where we begin with 10 D-ball cleans and then a 200 meter run. And then 15 D-ball cleans, 400 meter run, 20 D-ball cleans and 600 meter run. If you finish all that in the 10 minutes, the time is, your score will be the time that it took to complete. If you fail to complete all of that within the 10 minutes, that's okay and totally expected and understandable. And your score will be uh, 600 for the total number of seconds, plus all the reps that you did not complete uh, within the time cap. And that would be your score to write down on the piece of paper. For a D-ball to count, we're gonna pick the D-ball up and throw it over our shoulder. A no rep on the D-ball would be if you throw it sideways around your shoulder. John Spear doesn't count. The floater event is to be completed at any point in time after event one. It is a short workout, two minutes on the bike and double unders. You begin with a 30 calorie bike for fellas, 25 calorie bike for ladies, and as many double unders as you can in time remaining. To scale this workout, you'll cap the bike at a one minute effort and then still perform as many double unders as possible in that second minute. You will receive a, a deduction on your score based on the number of calories that you do not complete within that first minute. For double under count, the rope's gonna go under your feet two times. If you snag, that rep doesn't count. The rope has to go under your feet twice for those repetitions to count after completing the bike. There is a scaled division, so to speak. Just like in class, we want you to attack a workout that is challenging and appropriate for you. So that means in the first workout, right, the, the scaled weights would be 75 and 55 on the barbell. Uh, and if you'd prefer to use dumbbells for that, 
uh, also let me know and we can certainly accommodate that. For event two on the rower, if anyone would prefer to ski, we can scale that to a skier. To scale event three, you can use whatever D-ball weight you want. We will modify the scores based on, on how much you scale the workouts, but everyone is still going to be rated or compared within the same group. So those are our workouts for Rolympicon 2022. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or any other coaches in class in these days leading up to Rolympicon. Also, please check that spreadsheet that has been shared with you so you can see your heat times. There's also added information there about how all the workouts are scored and simply having that understanding coming into the event uh, is gonna help us all out a lot. So we look forward to having you here. It's gonna be a great day, an exciting day, and make sure you stick around for some hamburgers and hot dogs and some ice baths. See you soon.